close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch your mind watching the breath. Your alertness has to go in two directions. One is keeping tabs on the breath, and the other is keeping tabs on the mind. Make sure they stay together. Because that's the important part of meditating. We're not trying to get the breath, we're trying to get the mind. But we're using the breath as a, as a means for bringing the mind into the present moment so we can watch it. Because all too often our attention goes out to what other people are doing or what things are happening outside. We don't pay very much attention or, or enough attention to how our mind is dealing with these things. And the way greed, aversion, and delusion can sneak in and take over and color everything we see and everything we hear all the way down the line. When the Buddha said sights and sounds and smells and tastes are on fire, it's not on fire with a fire within themselves. It's what the mind applies to them. The mind sets these things on fire. So you have to see who is this that's this pyromaniac inside our heads that takes just ordinary sights and sounds, etc., and turns them into big issues. It creates a lot of trouble both for ourselves and for the people around us. So turn around and look. What is it that's setting these things on fire? When you see something that gets you angry, don't look at that thing outside. Look and turn around and look at your mind. When you see something that gives rise to greed, okay, notice, okay, the greed is there in the mind. Look at the mind. See why it's getting all worked up about these things. That's when you understand, okay, the big problem in life is not the things outside, it's what's going on inside. The Johns and Dylan talk about this many, many times. We tend to focus our issues on things outside, our attention on things outside, to find fault with things outside. Well, the fault really lies inside. Here in the mind. So we want to look for that. We've got the mind still, not to run away from it, but we've got the mind still so we can watch this and understand it and dig down even deeper. So we can root out this tendency. So our tendency to run around and set fire to things gets brought under control. That way we live in the world in a way that we're not burned up by our own greed, aversion, and delusion. We don't harm anybody else in that way either. So whenever any issue comes up, turn around and look at your mind. How is your mind dealing with it? Because that's what you're most responsible for. And that's where the problem can be solved. <laughs>